Alright, hey everyone, this is Surfrock66, or Joe. Um, I'm coming in today to show you guys how to make an animated GIF from a video. Um, just to let you know right off the bat, I use Linux, but I'm trying to focus this on tools that you can get on Linux, Mac, or Windows. So most of the steps in here, um, you're going to see it, it's the same thing wherever you go. Firefox is available everywhere, GIMP is available everywhere. So, um, you know, just there, I'll tell you guys the steps that may be a little bit different on your machines. Uh, the first thing I, I want to just mention in this is whenever you're doing a GIF, you need to start um, with a source video. I have most, almost every UFC event, every Pride event, I have all that stuff on, a, on an external hard drive somewhere. But for a lot of these, like this one Sandy sort of brought up to my attention the other day, uh, I'll actually capture them from YouTube, um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, so the first step here, here's this this fight, and you wanted me to grab an image of the of the knockout here. Um, I'm obviously using YouTube, but to download videos off of YouTube, I, uh, I have an add-on called the Easy YouTube Video Downloader, right? and I really recommend you get that. Uh, what it does is anytime there's a YouTube page, um, I don't know if you can see my mouse over here, it says uh, download video as. And so anytime there's a YouTube page, I just download the MP4. That's my dog barking. Uh, I download the MP4, and it saves it right on my desktop. You can see down here it's already finished, so I am going to actually close out of this and go over here um, to my desktop uh, folder and here's here's this video right here so the first the two things I do while it's a video and before I've turned it into a GIF is I, I crop it to where I want it to be and I add the watermark uh, this is the part that's going to be a little bit different on on Windows uh, to crop the video I would actually just use Windows Movie Maker it's pretty efficient for just cropping a video you know cutting it down to the place where you want and it also has a pretty good subtitles uh, or you know captioning or, or superimposed image uh, set up to it uh, there's tons of guides on the internet and I'll refer you to, to a guide I'm gonna put some notes at the bottom of this thing so with the links you guys can click but just to show you what I was gonna do on this I open up. I, I actually use two separate video editing programs, so this will just take me a second to show you. But I jump in on this, whatever. Um, and then I, I actually, what you do is you sort of say, I want to set the beginning marker, I want to set the end marker, and it was just at about two minutes into the video that he really clipped him good and took him down. It's a uh, Set the end marker, and then I'm going to delete all that. So I'm, I'm just going to advance slowly here. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good point to start this, I think. So I'll just scan ahead until I get the entirety of the KO. He's beating him up. He's beating him up. He's beating him up. He's beating him up. Beating him up pretty badly, and the referee jumps in. And I'm going to say that's a pretty good end of the, that. I think that that shows everything. So I'm going to crop out everything after it as well, and then I'm, I'm just going to go through here to make sure, sometimes in this program I leave a little bit extra crap at the end, just make sure I catch all that and cut it out, there we go, it's the lingo. This program can be a little bit. This program can be a little bit fickle. I recommend you guys use Windows Movie Maker on Windows. It's easier. All right, I'm not too worried about it. So we have we we have about 10, 11 seconds down here uh, to work with. That's going to make this much more manageable. I'm just going to save this back. Same thing, but I'm going to put a one after it. Okay. Now I'm going to use a different program to add the uh, the watermark that we have. I keep a copy of the watermark here on my desktop here. Um, it's a transparent copy of just the spot logo you can see here. It's a, it's already at 50% transparency, so uh, I, I find that it's just really easy to keep a copy of. So first thing I'm going to do is import that clip. It was on my desktop. And uh, I'm grabbing the one that's just the shortened one, the one that I had titled with the one after it here. And you can see it's a much smaller file, compared to 23 and a half megs to less than a meg. So. 
All right, and then I have an effect, which is superimpose, and I select my image. It's gonna look kinda choppy down here because this is just a preview, but then I, I have to position it, and I'll put it in the bottom right-hand corner. That just takes a second. Uh, like I said, Windows Movie Maker has a, a same kind of thing. So just, you know, I, I'll make the, the image file I use available to you guys and you can do that. But uh, I find that if you, like if there's an existing GIF and I want to add a watermark, sometimes I get a rectangle around it and stuff. I find that the, the watermark looks a lot better if you do it here with the video rather than later in the image, in the, in the GIF we're creating. So the procedure for this one just takes a second, 20 seconds. Wait and wait and wait. And. and that's done. Alright, so then I'm going to export the video. These steps are all a little bit different than what you're going to see in a in uh, Windows Movie Maker, but so just um, I'll point you to something that'll show you how to do that. This is just stuff for this. Um, I'm just gonna call it Video to GIF for right now. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Oops. It's just a setting for your, for you guys doing it in Windows Movie Maker. There's one op option in there that's raw AVI. Um, when, when you go to export it, it's going to say how do you want to export it. Always choose raw AVI for these because it'll it'll leave the images the best quality you can um, for turning it into a GIF. All right. For this, I've discovered this works. So I'm going to ex export the video. It's going to take a few seconds. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Should just take a little bit longer. All right, so that should be all done. Um, I'm not going to save any of that because it's just as easy to redo. Okay, so now over here. Um, let's see, where did I put it? Right here you see I have the video to GIF file. Um, so now that we have the raw video, we're going to have to use the image editing program that I use and everyone should be using. It's a free version of Photoshop called GIMP. Um, and so another neat thing about GIMP, not only is it free and it works on every platform, Windows, Mac, and Linux and all that, it has this thing called the GIMP Animation Pack. Uh, which is really the tool that I, is really the core of creating a GIF from a video. So we already have, let me just go back and show you guys. We have this video here. And the video has the watermark on it already. And that'll be, that'll be all kinds of high quality. 